What's up, ladies and gents? This is KC Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. It's not my day today, no, no, no. It's your day. Yes, that's right. The long awaited mystical guy with fuzz growing out of his face is finally back for his first appearance in Destiny after the DLC. Now, Jure's sitting right by the Crucible guys again, so he's not too difficult to find, and typically you can see him surrounded by a group of people. Obviously, not today. The interesting thing is today he's going to be selling upgrades to your exotic weapons, and you can see right down there, we've got the Icebreaker. Now all four of Jure's weapons and armor above and the 12 down below are essentially version 2 of your weapons, meaning they're more powerful or they provide more defense and attack. Now one interesting little tidbit is that, as you can see I'm swapping weapons over, when I had the Icebreaker equipped it showed up in Jure's inventory. Now I'm just moving a few things over, like my helmet and primary weapon, and as soon as I do that, you can see that Jure is now letting me upgrade the Light Beyond Nemesis and Shiro's Regime. So, I don't know. I, I think it should at least, if you have it in your inventory with you, you should at least be able to, to upgrade it as opposed to having to equip it. Just seems a slightly unnecessary, but, you know, whatever. For right now, I just want to upgrade my Icebreaker because I find that to be just one of the very best guns in the game. I happened to buy it off of Jure whenever he sold it. I know a lot of people that missed out on the Icebreaker are really kicking themselves. It's, it really is one of the best weapons in the game, all because of that ammo regen that it shares with the Invective, except it's, in my opinion, better than the Invective at regening ammo because it regens ammo quicker. Though it only has six shots in the magazine, you're not going to need them. It's pretty much the strongest sniper rifle in the game. I think tied with the supremacy, at least for pre-DLC damage. And just from uh, looking, it looks daunting to have to re-upgrade the entire weapon. But the version 2s that you trade in just upgrade a whole lot faster. So I'm just swapping my stuff over here. I really want to get my character up to 31. But I want to try doing it the most efficient way possible without duplicate items, hopefully. So since he's selling Helmet Ingrams, let's try to buy two of them with my Motes of Light and hope the Cryptarch is nice to me for once. And if you're interested in the rest of Jure's wares, he's got the Ruin Wings for the Titans, the Symbiote for the Hunter, which isn't that bad, I might get that, and Void Fang Vestiments for you Warlocks again. And of course, the Truth. But yeah. Oh, I also need to get that urn, because that's just one of my missions that I picked up from. My lovely, pretty little three-eyed girl. Yeah. Alright, so, on to the Cryptarch. Alright, so Cryptarch, it's been a long week for everyone in Destiny. A lot of new, exciting things, new helmet that are out. You gonna give me something good? A little something good? Come on, a little bit, a little bit. And... Third man and insurmountable skull fort. Womp womp. Alright, Cryptarch trolled me, so looks like I will probably put it, be putting some Vanguard gear on my Warlock soon. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. I sure hope Jure treated you better. Leave a comment below, let me know what you got, and smack that like button. If you want to see the rest of the videos on Destiny that are coming out tomorrow and in the future, subscribe. I'll see you in Destiny. Later.